Uh, you don't really have to go out of your way to find bad takes on the internet. I'm guessing, like, uh, if I had to put a number on it, uh, one out of every seven TikToks. <laughs> That's a bad take. <laughs> it's probably a bad take, but it can't be Kristen's bad take of the week. This one <laughs> is a doozy. I was so embarrassed on so many different levels for this one. Uh. And I might have had an emotional outburst about it earlier this <laughs> yes. morning. Yes. I didn't see coming. I, no, well, None of us did. <laughs> <laughs> understood. Didn't see coming, but understood. All right. And we actually have a guest on for this week's Bad Take, which we've never done before. So I'd like to welcome to The Burt Show, Fox 5 meteorologist, Jonathan Stacy. Jonathan, thank you for joining us today. Chris and Bert and the gang, good morning to you. Glad to be here. Good morning. It's been a long two weeks. Yeah, oh, I, yeah. I know you yeah. are beyond exhausted. So here's the deal, uh, <laughs> Jonathan. I'm going to read this article from The Mirror, uh, which is owned by the UK. So it's giving us a little insight into what other countries think of oh, our country. Oh, oh God. God. Okay. Oh, God. But this is The Mirror <laughs> US, and I'm just going to read this article, and then I'm going to let you take over. Okay, Jonathan? All right. Here we go. <clears throat> As Hurricanes Milton and Helene have caused back-to-back -back devastation across the South in the last few weeks, conspiracy theories have risen and have led to threats against meteorologists just trying to deliver weather reports. Meteorologists across the country have been working overtime to deliver accurate weather reports to those in areas affected by recent storms. However... They have noticed a frightening new trend of conspiracy theories surrounding the weather. The notion that the U.S. government is purposely causing deadly hurricanes in red-leaning swing states has spread all over social media and become a political talking point. So much so that President Biden was forced to shut down the conspiracy during a virtual briefing a day before Milton made landfall. But the theories have already spread far and wide. Washington, D.C.-based meteorologist Matthew Capucci told Rolling Stone, people are just so far gone. It's honestly making me lose all faith in humanity. There's so much bad information floating around out there that the good information has become obscured. This hurricane season, meteorologists say conspiracy theories have been flooding their inboxes. I've been doing this for 46 years, and it's never been like this, Alabama meteorologist James Spann said. He told Rolling Stone he's been inundated with misinformation and threatening messages like, stop lying about the government controlling the weather or else. <laughs> for me to post a hurricane forecast and for people to accuse me of creating the hurricane by working for some secret Illuminati entity is disappointing and distressing. <laughs> and it's resulting in a de decrease in public trust, Capucci told the magazine. Meteorologist Katie Nicolau has recently went viral after correcting a male commenter who tried to claim a Category 5 hurricane can turn into a Category 6. Mm -hmm. That is not possible. Says stopping misinformation from spreading is now becoming an exhausting part of her already stressful job. Nicolau even received a threat on Facebook that read, stop the breathing of those that made them and their affiliates. She posted a screenshot of the post on X, captioning it, murdering meteorologist won't stop hurricanes. I can't believe I just had to type that. <laughs> so Fox 5 meteorologist, Jonathan Stacy. Um, I give the floor to you. Can you confirm or deny that the government and meteorologists are in cahoots and you guys are actually controlling the weather and causing these hurricanes? Well, when I think about it, no. <laughs> I don't know, man. I looked at I'm you. Not, I looked at you at our I'm, charity event and I thought, that's a shady meteorologist. <laughs> <laughs> he is definitely controlling the shady, weather. Shady, murderous. Come on, take it up a notch here. Uh, we are through, but I, I, I just have to say this. The or else comment is what I'm still on. I want to know what the full threat is. Like, I, if we're threatening you, go ahead and complete your threat with us. <laughs> I just want to know what I'm up against because it may be worth the bet since we have so much freaking power to create these storms. Like, I was listening to one last night. It was crazy. And, mm. and the woman's justification, with all due respect, she said it had to be some sort of cloud seeding that's going on because – it went from a two to a five. Like, okay, yeah. 
like we just got in the water and we said, oh, no, we got to dish this one up. Put this one <laughs> in the center, put it in the mixer because we got to take this up a notch. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this is actually gotten out of hand. And I've never seen this before. Like, so it, uh, we know that politics is going to be division. People are going to have their sides with the different wars. You're going to even like one entertainment star or one singer over the other. You're going to be a Swifty or a hmm. part of the Beehive. We know you're going to have your favorite sports team. It's Georgia versus Alabama. We won't talk about that. But like weather has always been like the cool kids. We're over here. Everybody loves us. Everybody trusts us. Not no more. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just absolutely floored with this? I am not totally surprised. Really? Because we've been seeing this kind of creep up in other areas mm. for a number of years. Uh, so you think about the things that the federal government has their hand in, a lot of things, mm -hmm. and rightfully so, uh, because the National Weather Service and NOAA uh, is a part of the federal government. Mm. And I, I know the guys up there. I know the director personally, the people who are, like, doing all of the hard work, especially when the world literally is turning upside down because of a weather event. And literally, we don't have time to make up something because we're so busy doing something else. <laughs> like, there is no time. <laughs> literally, there was Helene last week. And Milton this week, so like, there's no e not even time to get crafty or creative. That's the part like I'm kind of confused about. It's there's, like, we don't have it. <laughs> there are so many levels to this that oh. I am confused by, and um, we're not, we're not, we promised we weren't going to talk about politics, but here I go. Um, here we go. The fact of the matter that the White House has to come out with a statement mm -hmm. and say, "Hey, everybody." Um, the thing that Marjorie Taylor Greene said is ridiculous. Uh, so there are a couple of levels right there. And then there are people that in District 14 in Georgia that voted for her, which I found head scratching also. So it is uh, it's ridiculous on a whole bunch of different levels. But the fact that the White House mm. this is the most powerful country in the wor mm. world, asterisk allegedly. Um, but the the most powerful seat in our country yes. has to address this. Take that they had to take day. time out of the day to go, hey, everybody, just want to let you know. <laughs> no, we don't have anything to do with it. And Jonathan, I wanted to I wanted to confirm with you because I'm like, okay, is this a ploy by the left to make it seem like it's a bigger deal and to have people raise eyebrows at the right? Or have you really like has there been a plethora, has there been an onslaught? of people coming after meteorologists saying you're in cahoots with the government and you are creating these storms. I, I think uh, it would probably be the latter. Okay. Is that, you know, there, there's a lot of folks pointing out and not to take a crazy serious turn here, but the meteorologists don't really bear any responsibility in this. There's a mm -hmm. lot of finger pointing at meteorologists, <laughs> but what has happened because weather is, the unpredictable, predictable, we attempt to do what really you can't do with weather. I can't tell you exactly when and where the hurricane's going to make landfall. Just can't do it. Is the cracks of that kind of crevice, if you will, has led to a sense of criticism. So, mm -hmm. Our phone lines crapped out on them. What? Yep, our phone lines crapped out on them. Yeah. It's the oh, Illuminati. It's the government. Oh, it's the government. <laughs> the government's behind that. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Are there going to be a lot of black SUVs up pull up with guys with sunglasses? I think I'm leaving early. Cyber, Cyber <laughs> truck. <laughs> the meteorologist. We're, we're back here. He won't, he won't uh, be stopped. Uh, he won't be stopped. Uh, he won't be stopped. The hurricane gremlins are in the phone line. <laughs> <laughs> we were convinced you were silenced, man. <laughs> anyway, we get the yeah. point, man. It's absolutely and totally ridiculous. And don't blame your meteorologists for the weather. <laughs> and don't threaten them, man. Yeah. That's not cool. Well, at least tell what the threat is. Just want to know what the rest of the threat was. I need to know what the or else. Is. You don't so even like, want I, I, I made to. I may hedge my bets on that. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, leave, leave us alone. Let us just enjoy some sunshine for like one, like maybe like a half a week. Uh, we got like a month and a half to get through this hurricane season, and we just need to cruise at this point. Nonetheless, we're barely halfway through the alphabet. So uh, I'll probably be talking to you guys. <laughs> Real soon about something crazy or ridiculous or maybe something serious, which is the priority. <laughs> we hear you loud and clear, man. Jonathan Stacy from Fox 5. Thank you, man. Appreciate Later. your time. Bye-bye. The Burt Show.